Hey guys, welcome to Pagan's Pathway. So today what we're going to talk about is something a little bit, I guess, controversial. Yes, definitely. Um, controversial. We don't want to disrespect anybody's traditions or paths or way of looking at their path as a pagan. What we're saying is just our perspectives on how we feel personally. So if you... If, if you, you resonate with that, that's great. Um, if it provokes more thought into your practices or maybe makes you see things a little bit differently, um, then we're glad. But hopefully we don't offend anyone. Um, but we were discussing um, some issues regarding sex magic. This is something that has been talked about a lot. It's been floating around um, inside magical traditions. And, you know, it's something that, um, you know, me and Sheldon share a similar belief in. And, um, you know, I was at the bookstore the other day and I was looking through different material on sex magic and a lot of ideas around the idea of raising energy while having sex. And um, I was reading, I don't remember exactly what I was reading, it was in one of the Wiccan books that I was reading, and it was talking about how Wiccans believe that raising energy through a sexual act is something that's recognized. Now, I understand that that's, a possi that's totally a possibility, because when you're intimate, you're connecting to, um, you're connecting at a very high level, and you're raising a lot of energy. Um, but the one concern that we both are concerned with is the capitalization of using the energy um, for a specific purpose other than the love that you're sharing with that person. It seems to be capitalizing on manifesting money, um, you know, mm -hmm. um, More like manifesting, a mechanical act. So, yeah, it's almost like a mechanical act just to raise the energy so you could use the energy for a physical um, manifestation of something outside of mm -hmm. that. Outside of love. Outside of love, outside of that sacred union. Mm -hmm. There's something definitely not, you know, it's definitely that doesn't resonate with doesn't, us. Doesn't, like, tef there's something not going on that's not correct there because, you know, I was sitting there and my internal compass was saying, something's not right here. You know, are people being taught something completely wrong? Has it been distorted? Because my understanding with sex magic is that any type of sex, well, any type of magic that's happening either ones that have a personal intention or just magic that is of, of life, of, of nature. You know, we have magic through everything, right. you know, it's flowing through everything, but sex magic in itself is the act of, you know, the sacred right to me, which is the God and Goddess coming together. So I, I feel that when you're intimate with someone, it's, you're emulating the energy of the God and Goddess. And I think that if it's taken away from the aspect of what sex was in place for to begin with, and it becomes something different, um, I think there's a problem there. I think there's an issue there. And I think that it will take you away and divert you away from the true meaning, the true essence. I don't know if that's what you, you personally think. Um, yeah, I definitely agree with that. And a lot of the things that I was thinking of, because he actually brought this topic to me because um, some things have been like flying around. And like, don't get me wrong, there have been times where like I simply think in a sexual way just because I'm human. I mean, mm -hmm. everyone has yeah, those things. Yeah. but. When it came to magic and the use of sex to to build up an energy, it, it also didn't resonate with me. My moral compass it was it was wrong in, in in my faith. They actually say that you're not supposed to they actually teach that you don't you shouldn't have sex before marriage, but that's just it's a personal choice. It's not like you're gonna be damned if you you yeah. know. It's just like it's just like a warning kind of just because they want you to be with your soulmate because that's what real sex magic is. It's heightening you, yes, by energy, not to gain prosperity or anything like that, but to prove that that connection's real almost. It's like energy, 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 I love you, not energy, 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 you know, I need prosperity. $500. Yeah, 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 you know, exactly. Or, 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 you know, I'm sure there's people out there that are practicing sex magic, raising energy, and then, you know, probably trying to manifest another love. I, I'm pretty sure it's happening. Uh, yeah, and who knows? And like, <laughs> you know, this isn't to I knock think, anyone who is. No, not at I just all. think Make that sure the... Like, it's, a, it's just... A, I, I just don't know. Personally, I think that if you trust someone enough to have sex with them, it shouldn't be mechanical. It should be no. two souls intertwining, and that in itself is magic. And it, 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 sex magic can occur when you're not having sex. Mm -hmm. When your two souls are together, that's an act of love and I think I personally think that if you're going to have sexual relations with someone it should be out of love not out of lust 
Mm -hmm. um, yes, of course, when you're married and things like that, people will say like, you know, you have to have passions. Well, like there that, has to be, you know, I think of lust as something that is the... Um, it's like a precursor. Well, I think I think lust is, is like there because it, it, it is, it's fueling the, the chemistry. Now, if there's chemistry there, but there's no love there, then you have one without the other. And if there's just love there, and then there's no sexual passion, then there's no relationship. And you're out of balance. You or are rom not, rom you're not romantically. Right. So I think that both have to be there. And I think that this is something that I think every person should be connecting with and saying, who am I? Mm -hmm. What do I believe? What do I really want to have? And what am I doing right now in this moment? Is this in alignment with my soul's true purpose? And am I becoming better from this experience? Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of traditions um, that, you know, there's some and, and run the other way that will state, you know, in order to be initiated, you know, you have to have sex. You have to perform the great rite um, in, in full, um, in full uh, view of the coven. And I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Now, that's my personal belief. Now, there are some Wiccans out there that, you know, are saying, you know, no, we only perform the great rite in token with an, uh, an athame and a chalice, and that's symbolizing the coming together of the god and goddess. And then there's some Wiccans that say, you know, I perform that with my partner who's in a committed relationship. Now, there will be Wiccans that are watching this and saying, well, that's how I practice. Um, however, there are some that I think it has become distorted, and I think that that's why Wicca has become so loose, and I think that that's why we have to try to figure out as a community what works for the whole and helps us both grow together and we can understand each other. And this is just a way for us to educate you. And if this resonates with you, then we're happy. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping that this reaches, like we were talking about, it if reaches somebody. it helps somebody. one person, yeah, that's like, what yeah. we're, that's all we care. Like, we know we're going to get flack. We know there's going to be some comments. Like, oh, we're, sure. we're ready. But the thing is, is that we want people to know that they don't have to have these sexual acts. They don't, they don't have to have sex magic how it's being taught in some circles. Um, I personally am not Wiccan, but I'm not saying anything bad about the Wiccans because I've read things in their faith mm -hmm. that have made me a better person mm -hmm. that I've actually taken away from, and it's beautiful. Um, but there, but like you said, we keep saying Wiccan, but they're also it, we're talking specifically well, witchcraft I think practices of yeah. like the god and goddess. Well, I think even sex magic, so, you don't even have to be... A witch. Right, that's very true. I mean, there's magicians that are practicing sex magic. I just think that, you know, this is something, I think this is a time for you to sit and be within yourself. If this is something that you've read, if it's something that's confused you, I hope that this video, you know, right. raises the awareness right. that there are people out there that may think like you. And any of you who, you know, disagree with our viewpoint, that's totally cool. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully we can... And we'd love to hear it. We'd love to hear your reasoning behind it because you may have a way of explaining it that we never understood. Yes, I would love to hear it because, I, you know, it, it's very... If you don't discuss, we'll never learn. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what it is. And, and what's funny is that people put these dividers, like, this is the faith you follow, so it can't be anything like this. And that's not true. Every faith has something that you can compare and be like, oh, we're similar. We're so... Mm -hmm. Like, every faith is so much similar. And sex magic is not... It's... It's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's interesting, it's an interesting topic, because for us, you know, we think that, you know, it should only be used for love and to mm -hmm. symbolize the god and goddess, and we think that if a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, love each other, that is a symbol of the two energies of the god and goddess mm -hmm. coming together, two souls making one, that's anima and animus coming together to make mm -hmm. the world and love totally. and the universe, everything. Totally. Yeah. And I think that that's the most beautiful act that you can experience, you know, I had... A spiritual friend that wasn't even a witch, um, and she says, "Oh my God, when I when I'm with my partner and, and I, and I'm, I'm I'm performing that sexual act with them of love, I, I feel like I'm connecting to God. You know, I feel like I'm I'm. Uh, it's like ecstasy. That's you know? how it should be. Like, I, and, and you know, and I was like, wow. Yeah, wow. Like, and she says, I feel like when my lover is loving me, it's like God loving me. You know, um, I was like, that is so beautiful. I was like, oh my goodness. So, you know, That's pure and wild. that, I think that is where, where I think it should be. But anyways, I'm sure we're probably talking, <laughs> we're talking in circles, forever, yeah. but hopefully that you can um, give us your comments and yeah, we'd really, really like to know what you think. 
and what your views are. And hopefully somebody uh, out there that is resonating with this. Um, and also please, um, please write and ask us what you'd like us to talk about. Because we don't know, you know. Or a video response. Like if you want to have a video response, please do it. Please do it. But we do want to ask that if you're going to reply to sit with it for a little bit. So like if, if we have like tugged on some strings that you've never really felt before and we made you upset, we, that wasn't our intention, but we would ask that you like take a moment and like see, I guess our side before posting a reply because we don't want a reply that's in anger. Yeah, we would like to keep, thought, you know? um, we would like to keep the comments in a light hearted space. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll do the same in respect to you. But we really want to know who you are. Because the world is diverse, and um, right. And if you want to contact us, I have our Twitter links below. His is at Premalon minus at Pagan's Pathway. I have my blog and his website in the links below. So please feel free to comment, go there, add us on Twitter. Um, anything that you want to do, um, we are always in contact. So, light and love. Bye.